Hello buddy Retno, Dumi La Prelancia, in the 70s the names Ron Ocarno and Jesse Guzman were so popular that they were dubbed the Eternal Couple. The two are often juxtaposed in the title of a romantic film, Bunda. Recently, Ron Ocarno reminisced and visited Jesse's residence. The two then shared stories and memories of playing together in the film Romy and Julie. At that time, it turned out that Jesse was embarrassed by Rano. When the film Romy and Julie was made, the figure of Rano Carno was already popular. Jesse Guzman admitted that he was embarrassed when Rano Carno visited his house to make everyone gather. Jesse and she had a cold sweat until she pretended to be sick when Rano arrived. He also did not want to leave the room until finally he wanted to meet Rano after being persuaded by his father. Since the release of the film Romy and Julie, Rano Carno and Jesse Guzman have become famous. Even though they are no longer playing movies together, until now the two of them continue to make friends. According to Rano, Jesse is a good woman. Rano did not deny her feelings of love for Jesse, but it was only limited to friendship. There's no way I'm not happy with Jesse Guzman, Jesse has always been the best person. Honestly, I would say, yes I would be happy. Just from the first time, because we were too good, we respect, respect, still be friends, said Ron Ocarno. Jesse married Joe Katinkier T. Jackra on December 5, 1985. Yesi and Aki first met in 1981 when they were both studying at the University of San Francisco, the United States. Incidentally, both of them are active in the Indonesian Club, an Indonesian student organization outside the country. From this marriage, they have two children, Jav and Dave T. Jakra and Shero and Demis T. Jakra. After fostering a household for 17 years, they divorced in late September 2002. After three years of being widowed, Yesi finally married for the second time from East Kalimantan, Ir. Shatruddin bin Hassan Batong, MBA, who is six years younger. They were married on July 10, 2005. After only four months of marriage the husband was immediately blocked by an illegal logging case and had to go to jail. The case is not over yet, but Shachrudin has faced Jesse's divorce suit in October 2007, two years after they married.